name is uh, Danny Hurst and uh, I'm 35 and I am in the Army, WO2 in the Royal Engineers. Uh, myself and Captain Josh Conway are going to be uh, running 400 miles uh, in aid of combat stress uh, and it's covering the distance in between the three combat stress centres in the UK, so uh, Leatherhead, uh, Shropshire and Air. The idea came about from uh, when we were in Afghan, myself and Josh, um, last year. Uh, we've done uh, a couple of things for combat stress before. Uh, for me, on a personal note, I had a friend who uh, took his own life uh, a few years back. Uh, he was in the engineers uh, and he took his own life not long after uh, returning from Afghan. I know there's more people out there that uh, need the help and support that uh, he could have possibly have done with. And that's why I, I want to raise as much money as possible to combat stress. This is definitely one of the hardest things uh, myself or Josh would have ever done. Hopefully not the hardest yet, maybe more to follow. Aim of the challenge is uh, to raise as much money as we can for combat stress. They're uh, a charity that um, supports uh, ex-service personnel uh, sort of fight, fight the demon within. We've had to train individually for this because uh, Josh got posted away uh, not so long ago, so uh, we've not actually done any training together whatsoever. Uh, the only time we've run together is uh, for the 100k we did last month. Uh, the training programme I've been using is for a 100 mile endurance race, uh, and mixing up a bit with uh, a couple of uh, long back-to-back -back runs. So you're pretty much running five days a week and um, not really much rest. But it just allows your legs to get used to being tired and um, and pretty much running on low reserves. So uh, yeah, it's been tough. My family think, uh, think I'm nuts. They're, uh, every event that I've done or organized, they've uh, thought, uh, they've wondered why. Uh, they know why I want to do it, but they don't know why I put my body through it. Advocates have helped us. Uh, they're selling wristbands, uh, our R2R, R2R, wrist, <laughs> R2R wristbands, and uh, they're promoting the video that Jamie Dudden made uh, for the event. So a lot of people are helping out and getting it out there, but we just need that final push where it becomes big. It's big now, but we want it massive. At the moment, my leg, uh, my leg's not in a good way. Um, my worry is that I know I'll still do it, but what? physical injury I'll come out with is what my, I'm worried about so um, yeah that's my biggest worry. Hi I'm Captain Josh Conway, I'm an officer in the Royal Engineers, I'm currently posted down in Paderborn to 3-5 Engineer Regiment uh, and I'm a squadron ops officer for 3-7 Squadron. Uh, R2R Run to Recovery is a charity run that myself and wo 2 Danny Hurst are doing uh, raising money over 10 days, covering 400 miles uh, for combat stress. The idea behind the event is to go from each of the combat stress centres, starting in Leatherhead in Surrey, moving our way north to Shropshire, and then finally ending up in Ayrshire in Scotland. Uh, Danny uh, was in the first squadron that I arrived in. Uh, at that point was a staff sergeant. We started working quite closely together then, and over two and a half years, uh, that professional relationship worked into a, a friendship started running together, started doing a lot of charity events together. We'd previously run a couple of ultra marathons and a 24 hour event uh, and it seemed like the natural progression to go from uh, those fairly short events into, into something a bit longer and a bit more uh, harebrained. Uh, the aim of the event is to raise money for combat stress. Uh, the charity that we picked uh, is important to both Danny and I. Uh, one of Dan, Danny's friends sadly took his own life because uh, he didn't have the support available uh, from that fantastic charity that's now doing such good work for, for the veterans of, of both Iraq and Afghanistan and other campaigns. We started training about uh, nine months ago uh, whilst we were out on tour uh, in Afghanistan. We came back from that and the training has continued. Uh, I'm myself using uh, a couple of guides from the internet and a book called Relentless Forward Progress uh, and that's really getting into our heads the idea of having a sustained training program um, and the mental preparation that goes along with the physical preparation as well. Uh, the key thing that, that runs, and the key theme that runs through all of these is getting your legs used to, to working when they're tired and working when they're fatigued um, and carrying on, on going. It's been a fairly relentless uh, training programme. We put it to the test on the London Brighton uh, about six weeks ago now and uh, pleasantly surprised uh, with the results of both of us which gave us a huge amount of confidence. Uh, by the end of the 40 miles uh, of the first section of that event 
Uh, we were both feeling pretty fresh. Uh, and then the remainder of the uh, of the event went very well for us. My main concern for the event, um, funny enough, is, th is the heat. Uh, sensibly, we picked to do this in August. Um, so far, the summer's been pretty scorching. Um, as you can tell by my complexion, I do very well in hot weather and very well in, in direct sunlight. So the general heat and the general degradation is, is going to be a concern. Uh, Danny and I have both had our own injuries to deal with. Danny's had problems with his shins. Um, I've torn the calf muscle. So it's been an uphill struggle to maintain our fitness and maintain um, the training regime. What we've both noticed is that with all of our work commitments, um, for Danny and I, they have ramped up with our new jobs and new postings. Uh, and so we haven't had as much time to train as we'd like. Um, and so the five o'clock in the morning starts do get pretty draining on you. So it's that, that going into the event, not entirely sure what we're going to, ex what we're going to get um, in the first couple of days, but um, once we've started, uh, that's, that's the key. Uh, and the miles will just trickle down along the way. Oh God, I'm trapping myself now. Final bits of preparation, we're leaving in about half an hour and I think we're ready, but it's like getting here this morning. The sat nav took us to the wrong place, so that was number one. Callum's alarm went off at half four rather than half five. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think we're ready. We've got loads of stuff from combat stress. Uh, up to nearly two and a half grand now, so that's quite good. But I um, just want to get started now. Baffle plate's not going in. <laughs> but all's good, I suppose. Bloody nervous. I've never felt this sick before, but before doing something. I think once we start, we'll be right. the pipes. I think Josh is nervous. He's feeling quite sick as well. But, um, once we get started and by ourselves, I think the nerves will go and uh, just be adrenaline's taking us for the first few miles. We'll most probably run off too fast and then, uh, then we'll have to slow it down. So it's good to just get started now. Family's here, which is good. It's going very well. How are you feeling? Nervous and slightly sick. I'm Josh's mum, this is Josh's stepdad, and Ellie is Josh's girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> I think it's amazing, but I think he's mad, but then that's Josh. <laughs> he's used to doing mad things. <laughs> and, uh, this is probably the longest mad thing he's done, but uh, yeah, I just hope they run safely.
and you're enjoying it. As well. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> I think it's tiring just thinking about it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Is the more Josh runs, the more I don't run. <laughs> that is definitely the stage I'm at. I think it's the 40 miles one day, and then, yeah. Yeah, but then you've got to do it again, and again, again, and again. Yeah. Yeah. Great for us, yeah. As long as you're not filming them, say, oh, can you do that bit again? Because I missed that, I want you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> We are erecting our tent for the first time. Are they? Spend a Sunday afternoon than running. We just hope the rest of it is as easy as this day was. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm not going to lie to you, it's been hard work. The heat is horrendous. The heat's been the, uh, pretty much the killer. As soon as the sun, the sun comes out, our times drop down and we start getting considerably slower. But that said, we had a very steady uphill section, which was actually bizarrely a chance for us just to relax a little bit. And so far, so good. We've had a couple of dodgy roads, <laughs> no paths, very dangerous, very slow. I can see some rugby faces. So uh, it slowed us down for the past, um, past sort of six miles. That was hard. Yeah, was hard. Yeah. The, roads are, uh, the roads are really dodgy. There was no path, so uh, what? I had to run on the main road and dodge yeah. cars. But um, did you find it all right? Fine. Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. All right. We're getting there and it's getting cooler. So. Yeah. Wow. Gosh, I can officially say I am your stalker. Yes! Um, I've always wanted a stalker, like oh, a real it. one. Brilliant. And what you get? I'm you like can... a groupie. Excellent. I'm like a groupie stalker. Brilliant, you can see exactly where I am, which means bit, you know. It was a bit sporadic, but we kind of got bits. Every now and again, we got bits. Oh, of where you I were. think you must have kept going offline. Um, I turned 3G off to save the battery, so a little quick in and out. Oh, this reminds me, Elaine, I need to mm. charge my uh, watch for a bit. Phone as well. No, no, my watch um, box. Please. What phone are you on? iPhone 4. Uh, three. 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 12 miles was like really slow, didn't it? Well, because we had that long section which was just uphill. So, can you. Brian's going to put it in his seat and put the car on. So oh, Okay, yeah. Is it plugged in there? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't need turning off or anything, just... Oh. Yeah, we didn't, didn't want to go off too fast. Uh, set off for about 20 minutes and then stretched off, didn't we? And then uh, sticking to the same sort of um, strategy as we did with the 100k. Run for four miles and then um, walk for the rest of that hour until that hour's up, then start running. So we do it in 45 minutes, we get to walk for 15. Or if uh, <laughs> if uh, we do it in 58 minutes, we walk for two. So um, yeah, this works well. I think we even walked pretty much for an hour once, didn't we? Yeah. I think we still did over four miles. So yeah. Um, there's a few more niggles and aches and pains, I think, than we might want at the moment, but nothing that's going to stop us yet. 
think the hardest leg was the second one. We didn't talk at all. Yeah, that's pretty good. Which is weird because we were talking then more on the uh, main roads when it was more dangerous. <laughs> There's some fairly lunatic drives out at the moment as well. Mm. And a fair share of trying to kill us. We need some cards. Hent up with them. Oh, you with them. I'm wearing my very fetching yellow top. Yeah, we could have had our first sponsor, but... Uh, and his admin's again. up too. Yeah, I don't know. All right, sorry. Bloke was uh, asking for directions to a pub. So uh, we pretty much said we didn't know where it was. And then told them about the right. But we're doing, we were running for 400 miles. <laughs> told them about the event. We didn't give you anything. Told them, we told them to go on Facebook. Is it eight miles, is it? It wasn't yeah. far driving in, was it's it? About seven, eight miles. Been our bed soon. Good for it. It's been. We had quite a long stretch running in the shade, and then the last bit there was running in the sunshine. That hit us again. Yeah. Um, so running in the heat is terrible. A little bit longer, which is unfortunate. I thought we'd be done by five or six. What time are we on now? Five to eight. Do you reckon you'll start earlier? I reckon you just put your brakes. Just what you were saying earlier. You think your brakes just just stick to one time every time. We're gonna do 15 minute break and half an hour for them. Oh wow! This um, looks good, doesn't it? It's really good. Yeah. Took us long enough to <laughs> put the tent on wrong. And then... <laughs> but everyone's been looking forward to it. Right? Have you seen the boys? Yeah, have you seen the boys' shirts? <laughs> hey? Look at the boys' shirts. They're still on board. Cool. That was good for you to come That was a good reception, wasn't it? Did you expect that? <laughs> have you seen Phil? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't believe it, right? 
Yeah, yeah the pool. That's hard work. Tell me about it. It took me and Jamie ages. I'm kidding. It did take us ages and it was hard work. How did you fill it up? Well, there's a tough right there. And then we used our bucket that we had all our stuff in. There is a cold pond there ready for you. I am very much looking forward to that cold pond. Um, I'll grab some in a second, I've got my other bottle. Have you had a tough day, Jamie? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's been difficult, so that, that camera like, looks very heavy. Yeah, flying the helicopter. I'm oh, flying the helicopter as well. That is hard work. Well done. That paddling pool's got my name all over it. Get in it. That's the one. Is it cold enough, Josh? That is perfect. You missed the pool, Dan. But hang a minute. That's cold. Yep. <laughs> there, it's gone. Now it's gone. <laughs> that bike has just thrown past because there's both in our paddling pool. <laughs> what the hell? Diary day one. Mm. How did it go? Now we're sitting here. Brilliant. Yeah, we're really because <laughs> well. we're here. Um, when we were coming up, uh, I think the last sort of well, the last eight miles we walked, didn't we? The whole way, we didn't do any running. Um, apart from when we were running into a campsite, and uh, I felt we had to. Yeah, and it, but it wasn't necessarily because we were. We're not injured or anything, but we're, we're, we're we stick into the strategy. Yeah, we know um, we've got nine more days left, and um, we're just stupid to uh, do any damage to ourselves yeah. now. The, the strategy has always been um, we we'll break the run into hour blocks, we'll run four miles, and then whatever's left in that hour, we'll walk, um, and then any steep hills as well, we're walking up as well. Um, it worked really well in London Brighton, um, we felt very, very good at the 40 mile point um, when we did that. So. It proved there that it can work and it proved that we could get on and continue to run after that. So from that side of life it's been really good. I think both of us would be fair to say that this morning um, the nerves are running pretty high. Um, there is a huge amount of doubt in all of this and everything that we're doing. Um, and at the start of anything the, the doubt is massive. Um, are we fit enough? Have we trained enough? Are the little niggles and the injuries going to flare up? Are we going to get lost? It, all those little stupid things um, that, that play on your mind. And we've had a really good day. Um, the doubt is still there with the fact that tomorrow's another long day. Yeah. We've not done two long days like this together. So we've done the back to back uh, training, which um, sort of 20 miles and that, but not, not, not 40. So that would be a test. Um, today was more sort of injuries that could have arose but they seem to, seem to be seem to be good uh, hopefully that'll stay the way stay the stay for the cause and um yeah but, as, as, we're, as we're going round and uh, you know the odd, pe the odd person looks at us or you know we speak to the odd person we let them know straight away what we're doing but nobody's really not really taking a massive interest yeah. in it, have they? So. I, I think there's not a huge amount of understanding as well. Yeah. Um, but we've got our cards with us now, so um, we'll um, we'll get them out, get those out, go and have a look at the website and, and see what we're all about. Um, I think that's the key thing: spread the message. And even if people, you know, if they don't donate, fine. But if they understand what combat stress does, that's half the battle. The support of the family and obviously the support crew yourself, Jamie, uh, Paul. Um, the parents, our families that are here yeah. today, girlfriends, wives, kids, they've all been a massive, massive boost today. Um, and that was absolutely amazing coming into the campsite then with the setup that you lot have done here, Cameron playing the pipes and the crowd of people yeah. that are here in combat stress t-shirts and, and uh, bands and coming to buy pens out is absolutely amazing. My shins are okay. Um, there's no swelling, there's, no, there's been no real pain. Um, I don't know what it's going to, because it's at night time where it can develop a bit, so we'll see what it is, but honestly, I think I'll be alright, the shin, um, shin socks have been good, uh, it was towards the end, both of our feet just suddenly at the same time, just suddenly went really sore, really achy, uh, which is weird, but I think it's all in the mind, because when we did the 100k last month, 
at 40 miles we were absolutely fine and I think it's the same as anything when you go on a run in the army when you know you've only got a little bit a little bit left to go then you start feeling the aches and pains and I think that's, that's all that's happened today yeah. um, I don't I'm not lying I couldn't get up right now and do 40 miles right now I need the rest tonight and I need the food but oh, yeah. I think in the it's morning we'll be good. <laughs> hey, you're right. Hey, guys. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Do you like our paddling pool? Day one. Day, Day one. one. <laughs> Only ten days to go. That was a really nice good. reception coming yeah. in. Yeah. Can you smell that? You were quite close as well. Top wow. you guys. Yeah. 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 By day ten. Definitely hats off. I think we're going to be crawling. We'll start as a run and then we'll go to walk and crawl. I think it's going to be hard enough for us driving up to Scotland. So yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you.